Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome once again to the daily Bible reading as we continue through the book of 2 Kings. And this is your host, Brother Scott, bringing you these uh, Bible readings every day as, uh, as the Lord wills. So if you would get your Bible and uh, greet you first in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. So today we're going to be reading chapters 10 through 13. So if you're just joining me, you're welcome to follow along or you can come back and watch the replay. Amen. All right, so let's uh, get started here in chapter 10. And we just uh, read the other day about uh, Jezebel dying and then the dogs uh, licking up her uh, blood and uh, nothing left of her except for her palms and uh, that stuff. So now let's get on to chapter 10. And verse 1 says, And Ahab had seventy sons in Samaria, and Jehu wrote letters and sent to Samaria unto the rulers of Jezreel, to the elders, and to them that brought up Ahab's children, saying, Now, as soon as this letter cometh to you, seeing your master's sons are with you, and there are with you chariots and horses, a fenced city also, and armor, look even out the best, and meetest out, and, um, and meetest out uh, of your master's sons, and set him on his, ma uh, his father's throne, and fight for your master's house. But they were exceedingly afraid, and said, Behold, two kings stood not before him. How then shall we stand? And he said, er, and he that was over the house, and he that was over the city, the elders also, and the bringers up of the children, sent to Jehu, saying, We are thy servants, and will do all that thou shalt bid us. We will not make any king. Do thou that which is good in thine eyes. Then he smote, or er, excuse me, then he wrote a letter the second time to them, saying, if ye be mine, and if ye will hearken unto my voice, take ye the heads of the men, your master's sons, and come to me to Jezreel by tomorrow this time. Now the king's sons, being seventy persons, were with the great men of the city, which brought them up. And it came to pass, when the letter came to them, that they took the king's sons and slew seventy persons, and put their heads in baskets and sent them and sent him them to Jezreel. Wow. Excuse me. All right. Verse eight. And there came a messenger and told him, saying, They have brought the heads of the king's sons. And he said, Lay ye them in two heaps at the entering in of the gate until the morning. And it came to pass in the morning that he went out, and stood, and said to all the people, Ye be righteous. Behold, I conspired against my master, and slew him. But who slew all these? Know now that there shall fall unto the earth nothing of the word of the Lord, which the Lord spake concerning the house of Ahab. For the Lord hath done that which he spake by his servant Elijah. So Jehu slew all that remained of the house of Ahab in Jezreel, and all his great men, and all his, and his kinfolks, and his priests, until he left him none remaining. And he arose, and departed, and came to Samaria. And as he was at the shearing house in the way, Jehu met with the brethren of Ahaz Ahaziah, king of Judah, and said, Who are ye? And they answered, We are the brethren of Ahaziah, ah and we go down to salute the children of the king and the children of the queen. And he said, Take them alive. And they took them alive, and slew them at the pit of the shearing house, even two and forty men. Neither left he any of them. And when he was departed thence, he lighted on Jehoabdab, the son of Rechab, 
coming to meet him. And he saluted him, and said to him, Is thine heart right, as my heart is with thy heart? And uh, Jehonadab answered, It is. It, uh, if it be, give me thine hand. And he gave him his hand, and he took him up to him into the chariot. And he said, Come with me, and see my zeal for the Lord. So they made him ride in his chariot. And when he came to Samaria, he slew all that remained unto Ahab in Samaria, till he had destroyed him according to the saying of the Lord, which he spake in to Elijah. And Jehu gathered all the people together, and said unto them, Ahab served Baal a, a little, but Jehu shall serve him much. Now therefore call unto me all the prophets of Baal, all his servants, and all his priests. Let none be wanting, for I have a great sacrifice to do to Baal. Whosoever shall be wanting, he shall not live. But Jehu did it in subtlety, to the intent that he might destroy the worshippers of Baal. And Jehu said, Proclaim a solemn assembly for Baal, and they proclaimed it. And Jehu sent through all Israel, and all the worshippers of Baal came, so that there was not a man left that came not. And they came into the house of Baal, and the house of Baal was full from one end to the other, or to another. And he said unto them, or unto him that was over the vestry, Bring forth vestments for all the worshippers of Baal. And he brought them all, um, brought them forth vestments. And Jehu went, and Jehonadab the son of Rechab into the house of Baal, and said unto the worshippers of Baal, Search, and look, that there be here with you none of the servants of the Lord, but the worshippers of Baal only. And when they went in to offer sacrifices and burnt offerings, Jehu appointed fourscore men without, and said, If any of the men whom I have brought into your hands escape. He that letteth him go, his life shall be for the life of him. And it came to pass as soon as he had made an end of offering the burnt offer, uh, offering, that Jehu said to the guard and to the captains, Go in and slay them. Let none come forth. And they smote them with the edge of the sword, and the guard and the captains cast them out, and went forth to the city of the house of Baal. And they brought forth the images out of the house of Baal, and burned them. And they brake down the image of Baal, and brake down the house of Baal, and made it a drought, a draft house unto this day. Thus Jehu destroyed Baal out of Israel. Howbeit from the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, who made Israel to sin, Jehu departed not from after them, to wit the golden calves that were in Bethel, and that were in Dan. And the Lord said unto Jehu, Because thou hast done well in executing that which is right in mine eyes, and hast done unto the house of Ahab according to all that was in mine heart, <clears throat> thy children of the fourth generation shall sit on the throne of Israel. But Jehu took no heed to walk in the law of the Lord, God, the Lord God of Israel, with all his heart. Uh, for he departed not from the sins of Jeroboam, which made Israel to sin. In those days the Lord began to cut Israel short, and Haziel smote them in all the coasts of Israel. From Jordan eastward, all the land of Gilead, uh, the Gidite, Gadites and the Reubenites and the Massasites, uh, from Aurora, uh, which is by the river Arnon, even Gilead and Bashan. Now the rest of the acts of Jehu and all that he did, and all his might, are they not in the book? Are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel? And Jehu slept with his fathers. And they buried him in Samaria, and Jehoz Jehoahaz, his son, reigned in his stead. And the time that Jehu reigned over Israel, 
in Samaria was 20 and 8 years. All right, chapter 11. And when uh, Atha, Athaliah, the mother of uh, Hezia, saw that her son was dead, she arose and destroyed all the seed royal. But Jehosheba, the daughter of King Joram, sister of Ahazia, took Joash, the son of Ahazia, and stole him from among the king's sons, which were slain. And they hid him, even him and his nurse, in the bedchamber from Athaliah, so that he was not slain. Uh, and he was with her hid in the house of the Lord six years, and Athaliah did reign over the land. And the seventh year Jehoiada sent and fetched the rulers over hundreds with the captains and the guard, and brought them to him into the house of the Lord, and made a covenant with him, them, and took an oath of them in the house of the Lord, and showed them the king's son. And he commanded them, saying, This is the thing that ye shall do. A third part of you that enter in on the Sabbath shall even be keepers of uh, the watch of the king's house, and a third part shall be at the gate of Sir, and the third part at the gate behind the guard. So shall ye keep the watch of the house, that it may not be broken, uh, that it be not broken down, and two parts of all of you that go forth on the Sabbath, even they shall keep the watch of the house of the Lord about the king, and ye shall compass the king round about, every man with his weapons in his hand, and he that cometh within the ranges, let him be slain, and be ye with the king as he goeth out and as he cometh in, and the captain over. The hundreds did according to all things that Jehoiada the priest commanded, and they took every man his men that were to come in on the Sabbath with them that should go out on the Sabbath, and came to Jehoiada the priest, and the, to the captains over hundreds did the priest give King David's spears and shields that were in the temple of the Lord, and the guard stood every man with his weapons in his hand round about the king from the right corner of the temple to the left corner of the temple along by the altar and the temple and he brought forth the king's son and put the crown up upon him and gave him the testimony and they made him king and anointed him and they clapped their hands and said god save the king and when athaliah heard the noise of the guard and of the people, she came to the people into the temple of the Lord. And when she looked, behold, the king stood by a pillar, and as the manner was, and the princes and the trumpeters by the king, and all the people of the land rejoiced and blew with trumpets. And Athaliah rent her clothes and cried, Treason! Treason! But Jehoiada, the priest, commanded the captains of the hundreds, the officers of the host, and said unto them, Have her forth without the ranges, and him that followeth her kill with the sword. For the priest had said, Let her not be slain in the house of the Lord. And they laid hands on her, and she went by the way, by the which the horses came into the king's houses or house, and there was she slain. And Jehoiada made a covenant between the Lord and the king and the people, and they sh and that they should be the Lord's people between the king and the people, uh, the king also and the people. And all the people of the land went into the house of Baal and break it down. His altars and his images break they in pieces thoroughly, uh, and slew Matan the priest of Baal. For the altars, and the priest appointed officers over the house of the Lord, and he took the rulers over hundreds, and the captains, and the guard, and all the people of the land, and they brought down the king from the house of the Lord, and came by the way of the gate of the guard to the king's house, 
and he sat on the throne of the kings. And all the people of the land rejoiced, and the city was in quiet. And they slew Athaliah with the sword beside the king's house. Seven years old was Jeho Jehoash uh, when he began to reign. Amen. <clears throat> all right. In the, chapter 12, in the seventh year of Jehu, Jeho uh, Jeho uh, Jehoash began to reign, and forty years reigned he in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was uh, Zibiah of Beersheba. And Jehoash did that which was right in the sight of the Lord all his days, wherein Jehoiada the priest instructed him. But the high places were not taken away. The people still sacrificed and burnt incense in the high places. And Jehoash said to the priests, all the money of the dedicated things that is brought into the house of the Lord, even the money of every one that uh, passeth the count, the money that every man is set at, and all the money that cometh into any man's heart to bring into the house of the Lord, let the priests take it to them, every man of his acquaintance, and let them repair the uh, breaches of the house wheresoever, any breach shall be found. But it was so, that in the three and twentieth year of King Jehoash, Jehoash, the priests had not repaired the breaches of the house. Then King Jehoash called for Jehoiada, and the priest, and the other priests, and said unto them, Why repair ye not the breaches of the house? Now therefore receive no money of your acquaintance, but deliver it for the breaches of the house. And the priest uh, consented to receive no more money of the people, neither to repair the breaches of the house. But Jehoiada, the priest, took a chest and bore a hole in the lid of it, and set it aside, the, uh, set it beside the altar, on the right side as one cometh into the house of the Lord. And the priest that kept the door put therein all the money that was brought into the house of the Lord. And it was so, when they saw that there was much money in the chest, that the king's scribe and the high priest came up, and they put up in bags, and told the money uh, that was found in the house of the Lord. And they c gave the money, being told, into the hands of them that did the work, that had the oversight, of the house of the Lord, and they laid it out to the carpenters and builders that wrought upon the house of the Lord, and to masons and hewers of stone, and to buy timber and hewed stone to repair the breaches of the house of the Lord, and for all that was laid out for the house to repair it. Howbeit there were not made for the house of the Lord bowls of silver, snuffers, basins, trumpets, any vessels of gold, or vessels of silver, or um, of the money that was brought into the house of the Lord. But they gave that to the workmen, and repaired therewith the house of the Lord. Moreover, they reckoned not with the men into, those, into whose hands, or into whose hand, they delivered the money to be bestowed on workmen, for they dealt faithfully. The trespass money and sin money was not brought into the house of the Lord, it was the priests. Then Haziel, king of Syria, went up and fought against Gath, and took it, and Haziel set his face to go up to Jerusalem. And Jehoash, king of Judah, took all the hollow things that Jehoshaphat and Jehoram and Ahaziah, his fathers, kings of Judah, had dedicated and his own hallowed things, and all the gold that was found in the treasures of the house of the Lord, and in the king's house, and set, sent it to Haziel, king of Syria. And he went away from Jerusalem. And the rest of the acts of Joash, and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Judah? Uh, and his servants arose, 
and made a conspiracy, and slew Joash in the house of Milo, which goeth down to uh, Sila, for jo Josiah, the son of Shimith, Shimeath, uh, and Jehozabad, the son of Shomer, his servants, smote him, and he died, and they buried him with his fathers in the city of David, and Am Amaziah, his son, reigned in his stead. Mm. Chapter 3, ah, excuse me, chapter 13. In the three and twentieth year of Joash, uh, the son of Ahaziah, king of Judah, uh, Jehoabat, uh, Jehoahaz, the son of uh, Jehu, began to reign over Israel in Samaria, and reigned seventeen years. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord, and followed the sins of Je Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, which made Israel to sin, he departed not therefrom. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel, and he delivered them into the hand of Haziel, king of Syria, and into the hand of Ben-Hadad, the son of Haziel, all their days. And Jehoahaz besought the Lord, and the Lord hearkened unto him, for he saw the oppression of Israel, because the king of Syria oppressed them. And the Lord gave Israel a savior, so that they went out from under the hand of the Syrians, and the children of Israel dwelt in their tents, as before time. Nevertheless, they departed not from the sins of the house of Jeroboam, who made Israel sin, but walked therein, and there remained the grove also in Samaria. Neither did he leave of the people to Jehoahaz, but fifty horsemen, and ten chariots, and ten thousand footmen, for the king of Syria had destroyed them, and had made them like the dust of by, th by threshing. Now the rest of the acts of Jehoabat, Jehoahaz, and all that he did, and his might, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel? And Jehoahaz slept with his fathers, and they buried him in Samaria. And Joash, his son, reigned in his, his stead. In the thirty and seventh year of Joash, king of Judah, began Jehoah Jehoash, uh, the son of, of uh, Jehoahaz, to reign over Israel in Samaria, and reigned sixteen years. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord. He departed not from all the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, uh, who made Israel sin, but he walked therein. And the rest of the acts of Joash, and all that he did, and his, right, or, and his might wherewith he fought against Amaziah, king of Judah, are they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the Kings of Israel? And Joash slept with his fathers, and Jeroboam uh, sat upon his throne, and Joash was buried in Samaria with the kings of Israel. Now Elisha was fallen sick of his sickness, whereof he died. And Joash, the king of Israel, came down unto him, and wept over his face, and said, O oh, my father, my father, the chariot of Israel, and the horsemen thereof. And Elisha said unto him, Take bow and arrows. And he took unto him bow and arrows. And he said to the king of Israel, Put thine hand upon the bow. And he put his hand upon, upon it. And Elisha put his hands upon the king's hands. And he said, Open the window eastward. And he opened it. Then Elisha sh uh, said, Shoot. And he shot. And he said, The arrow of the Lord's deliverance, and the arrow of deliverance from uh, Syria. For thou shalt smite the Syrians in Aphek, till thou have consumed them. And he said, Take the arrows. And he took them. And he said unto the king of Israel, Smite upon the ground. And he smote thrice and stayed. And the man of God was wroth with him, and said, Thou shouldest have smitten five or six times. Then hadst thou smitten Syria, till thou hadst 
consumed it. Where it, whereas now thou shalt smite Samaria or Syria, but thrice. And Elisha died, and they buried him. And the bands of the Moabites invaded the land at the coming in of the year. And it came to pass, as they were burying a man, that, behold, they spied a band of men, and they cast the man into the sepulcher of Elisha. And when the man was let down and touched the bones of Elisha, he revived and stood upon his feet. But Haziel, king of Syria, oppressed Israel all the days of Jehoahaz. And the Lord was gracious unto them, and had compassion on them, and had respect unto them, because of his covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and would not destroy them, neither cast he them from his presence as yet. So Haziel, king of Syria, died, and Ben-Hadad, his son, reigned in his stead, and Jehoash, the son of Jeho Jehoahaz, uh, took again out of the hand of Ben-Hadad, the son of Haziel, the cities which he had taken out of the hand of Jehoahaz, his father, by war. Three times did Joash beat him, and recovered the cities of Israel. And that is where we will leave off for this time. And tomorrow, Lord willing, we'll be reading chapters... Let's see here, where we at? Uh, chapters 14 through 16 tomorrow, Lord willing. So I hope you'll come back for that. Amen. Until then, I will uh, wrap it up here for you today. And thank you for watching. And hope and pray you all have a great and wonderful rest of the day. And may the Lord richly bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. So have a great and wonderful rest of your Sunday. And remember, Jesus saves. Believe on him. All right. Bye-bye for now.